All right, y'all. All right. Shalom, shalom. Beautiful day. As always, a beautiful day, especially when you hood wake you up in the morning. Look at that nature itself. Taking a little stroll down the street. Huh. So all this week, always giving you a little praise. For all this week, we've been there. Um, we had three incidents of snakes this week. Three different days, three different snakes. Two of them, he was able to take care of. One of them got away. Yeah. Now they coming back our way. One was a cobra, a baby cobra. And the other one, I got an accident with the other one was because the other guys saw that one. had got that one. Then the third one we saw that got away. Couldn't really tell. He moved so fast. It was long and green. Came up on the porch while we were having Shabbat service. And when I saw it, and I said, oh, snake. And everybody got up. He took off. Went back the opposite way. I don't know. How, I don't know how he moved that fast. He must have found some way to crawl in a hole or something. But all thanks to Yahuwah. No harm heard the danger came to her. But we uh, went back inside to finish the service. <laughs> uh, but it was beautiful out there. Being outside. Enjoying the Shabbat. Um, yesterday. <sighs> Taking a stroll. Had some of the guys to weed back. Cut back some of the... Um, bush that was coming over all over the road so walking the neighborhood here in the pan-african village see what's going on rainy season over roads and dried up well our road was always okay but certain spots out here was you know flooded or mucky where you couldn't get vehicles through but all that done send it And just so happened, yeah, one of the, the cobra, the baby cobra, he ended up being in our um poly tank um, um room. <clears throat> Cause we wasn't finished with the floor in there, so he came up under the door. Small like he was in there, so one of our workers happened to spot him when they went in when they opened and he stood up. <laughs> but he took care took care of that real quick. It was funny because he, I work out, he, you know, he say, he say, yeah, the cobra stood up and he told me he was fast. And I worker told him, he said to the cobra, he said, yeah, but I'm fast. <laughs> so he took care of that. Got old Domateco home over there. He moved in. He was number five to move in over here. So right now we have five living out here. More to come, but we still got a lot of homes coming up, being built, coming along. Just asking everyone to just continue to pray for each other. You see all the foolishness and the craziness going on with, with the powers to be and all their filthiness and nastiness to depopulate. So just for everybody, stay on them bending knees with fasting and prayer. Looking out for one another, being our brother's keeper. Over here we got um Byron, his home coming together. See somebody done burnt they feel. 
getting them ready to do their little work. Over there, we got old Navigate. Over there, we got the back side of the two story, Mr. Lynn Spot. You see? He got his solar panel. So everybody that's living out here, you know, has their own um, solar panel on their home. Yeah, we got the um, power lines in. We got the um, transformer on the other side over there. It's not hooked up yet, but we, you see the progress that's coming along. You see the progress coming along. See down there, got Steve place down there, down that road. Well, I'm heading this way, let me check out the road down here on this end. Now I'm walking, let me keep my head down, look, be looking out. Making sure no snakes cross in the path, because they do go from one side of the bush to the other. Silent how? All right. See somebody starting to do some over there. See, got some old clearing over there. On that side, but that side is over there. There's another development. It's just ne right next to us. Mm -hmm. a lot of noise up here, so somebody must be out here doing some work. Yeah, they'll come out on Sundays too and get the going. Front side of Lynn Home. Oh. oh, somebody else out here doing work. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got it. No, I ain't have a dollar. <laughs> oh, I don't have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> How that work making them blocks. All right. Steve got it together. Boy, he got the thing up. So it's the back side of um, Steve home. Looking nice, looking nice. Go up, chill out. All right, y'all. So this is the other side of the road. Um, where things get, you know, see right here. Once you, all that water come, it start to separate the road out over time, eat it up. But now that is, you know, the rain season over and everything done dried up, your back is back to business. You can get through with no problem. But definitely, we know we need, we need to have it ready. And put together by next rainy season. So those people that was on the other side of the flood and stuff, and they can get back to doing their thing. I hear machines up here. See all this on this side over here is a whole nother development from here. Everything on this side of the road going all the way around, all the way up there. We see the truck over there dumping off. Either some sand or some stone. This right here is um Otis. 
oldest plot. You getting this thing together? Well, you see, this is dried up. You're able to get through, but for but when it's rainy season, oh yeah, all this be mucky. A lot of this will get stuck over here and everything. So yeah, everything on that side, y'all. Another development. They're getting it in. Let me see. Oh. Okay, yep. Yeah, can't get through over here. Yep, muddy over here. <laughs> All right, good morning. Ah, uh, still muddy. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. So it's still drying up, still drying up over here. So right now the truck, what he do? He'll go back around the other way with the main road and come around that way. So you know you have these are two ways to get in and out right now. But then you see development going in over here. So things coming together, y'all. Things are coming together. That's why I say it's good to get in, get in on the ground with the reasonable pricing and everything. And you be a part of something that's being developed, you know, so you can look back, talk with your grandchildren and say, hey, grandpa was here way back so-and-so, and we brought this place up, you know. Let's see. So, and also, the beautiful thing about it, on one side over here, you got a big orange grove as you walk up further. You'll have a big lime grove here, and then other areas you'll have another orange grove, lime grove. Then you'll find, you know, some pineapple, cassava, all that out here. Very, very fertile land, very fertile land. Oh, what we got down here? Oh, a little fishy. Oh, look at that little fishy swimming. Let me see I'll zoom in on him. I won't be camera shy. There you go. There you go, the little fishy right there. Right there. He don't stop moving now. He's he chilling. He see the camera on him. But yeah. That's where it at. So all that from the um when the water was high over here. I ain't gonna say high, but just mucky. I'm going to take a stroll to the other side. See y'all.